Hey everybody, Brett Thompson here, Thompson Law Group. It's Tuesday, so we're gonna do another Teaching Tuesday. So for you real estate agents out there, we're gonna talk about um, the term ratification as it is used in the RAIN contract, which is the real estate information network contract that most of the real estate agents use here in Hampton Roads in Virginia. Now, the traditional definition of ratification is a little different than what's found in our RAIN contract. So traditionally, ratification means the confirmation and acceptance of a previous act, thereby making the act valid from the moment it was done. A classic example of ratification would be if I were 17 years old today and I entered into a contract, and then next week I turned 18, all right? So even though I was 17 years old and I had, didn't have the legal authority to enter into a contract, when I turn 18, I can ratify my acts that I entered into as a minor and I can make them enforceable. Uh, so I have ratified a previous act. Now, the RAIN contract in paragraph 2 has its own specific definition for the term ratification. So in the RAIN contract, it says, For the purposes of this agreement, ratification shall mean the date of communication of the final written acceptance by the buyer and the seller of all the terms of this agreement, and not the date of the removal or expiration of any contingencies. So... <clears throat> Let's talk about that. Does a contract have to be ratified? No. All right. Um, a contract in Virginia is an agreement between two or more parties for consideration. We have a contract when an offer is accepted. So the fact that a real estate agent signs this front box and says that this contract was ratified is of no legal significance, all right? So if we have an offer that is accepted and we have the buyer and the seller, for example, that have signed the contract, they can enforce the contract in regards to each other. Now, I get it, okay? I believe that the powers that be at Rain put this ratification box on the front page to uh, build in a witness, if you will. So one of the real estate agents will sign the box and they will, will be a built-in witness as to when the final acceptance was delivered, thereby starting the clock for all the other contingencies for the, the property inspection, the amount of time that you have to apply for the loan. Um, but it's not necessary, all right? And if the box wasn't signed, the ratification date, um, the contract is, is still in, enforceable and at the moment of acceptance, the delivery of the, of the acceptance, that would and does start the clock uh, for the, all the other contingencies in the timeline for the contract. So um, don't get excited. I know that the industry standard is, you know, the real estate agents have to turn in the contracts to their brokers and the brokers want to see the ratification box signed. Um, I get it, okay? So um, as a practical matter, it makes sense. But from a legal matter, it is not a legal requirement. So um, all you need is two or more parties that, uh, for consideration, have agreed, all right? There's an offer that's been accepted. So if there was a scenario whereby we had an offer that was accepted and the buyer signs and the seller signs, you got a contract. And if one of the real estate agents forgot to sign the front box for ratification, it has no legal effect whatsoever. Um, and the parties, the buyers and the sellers, can enforce the contract. So. I just wanted to talk about the term ratification, how it's used in the RAIN contract, and what is the traditional um, definition of ratification. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.